Hello, Lindenwood Christian Church. Jeff Mitchell here. It is time for our Friday prayers. I'm on every Friday. I wanted to share with you a Bible verse before we prayed and give you a little summary of, of what we're praying for and how I have decided to guide our prayer time over these next several weeks. As you know, we have um, a different staff person that comes on every day around noon to give us an opportunity to share a word of hope as well as pray together as a church. We understand the, the unique nature of where we are right now in this pandemic. And um, even as we remain open with our strong safety precautions in place, we know that many people are wisely choosing to worship with us from home. And I want to reiterate, if you're worshiping at home or worshiping on campus, it's the right spot as long as you're doing everything you can to be wise. But uh, we're trying to stay connected with you Monday through Friday on our prayer time. Ephesians 3, verse 20 and 21. Ephesians 3, verse 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we could ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. I love this text that uses that phrase that, that God is able to do immeasurably more than we could ever ask or imagine according to God's power that is at work within us. I shared last Friday that I have this simple list of things that I pray over every single morning. I do not pretend to have the most disciplined prayer life. Please hear me when I say that. If you struggle with prayer, your minister struggles with prayer. I'd rather read the Bible than sit in silence every single day. But at the beginning of the year, I committed to a, a simple list of things I would pray for, a variety of things in our church, leadership in our church. Every morning I pray for um, our board, our elders, and our staff. I go over the, the needs of our prayer list. But um, some of those things can vary. But every day, I got three things that I lift up to God so that God could do more than we could ask or imagine. That, uh, who's God, who, God who can do things bigger than we could even begin to wrap our minds around because of the power of God that is at work within us. And so I've been praying every day that in 2022, the murder rate in our city would go down compared to 2021. That there would be a noticeable reduction in gun violence. I pray every morning that we would find ways to bring an end to the pandemic of COVID-19. We know that comes with human response, that we would do our best to stay safe, to follow wise instruction, to get vaccinated, get boosted, do everything we can to help fight this. But let's be honest, we need God's power to get us through this and get us out of this. And also, that in 2022, we would be a church that once again is immersing people in the waters of baptism because we are seeing new people come into the church, come into the faith, and decide to um, um, give their lives to following the way of Jesus. And we declare that publicly through baptism. In our church, in our tradition, we baptize people as uh, adults, for a lack of a better term. Um, you know, I, my mom was baptized as a baby. I'm not knocking that. But in our church, we baptize people as, as, through their um, decision to follow Jesus in a recognition of God's work in their life. And that's something that's kind of been on pause here for a little while because we haven't been able to engage in that in the way that we would want. So I am asking you to join me every Friday to pray repetitively for these three things. That there would be a reduction in the murder rate in 2022 here in Memphis. That we would ask God to intervene in that. And of course, when we ask God to do stuff, God always asks us to join God in doing that. I ask daily, repetitively here, every Friday as a church, that we would do everything we can to see the eradication of the pandemic of COVID-19. We know we play a part in that, but we also know we need God's power that can do exceedingly more than we could ever dream or imagine. And we are also praying that God, and God is the one that changes lives. Human beings do not do that, even as we play a role in creating a hospitable place of welcome that shares Jesus with people that do not go to church, that we would be a church in 2022 that baptizes new adults into the faith and help people see that the life of Christ is available to them and that God is at work in their lives. So let's take a moment and pray now and pray that God would do exceedingly more than we could ever dream or imagine and that God would help um, utilize the power that God has for these three things that we know matter greatly to our hearts as people that live here in Memphis and are connected to this church, as well as matter very much to the heart of God. So let's pray together. I do this when I pray sometimes 
encourage you to do so as well. I put my hands out as a, as a way of offering my availability for God to speak to me and to give me a to-do list through my prayer. So if you feel comfortable doing that, join me. Let's pray together. God, we need your power to do what we cannot do. And we know that when you begin to move in our lives, you invite us to join you in your work, your work and your power that is within us. God, we pray for a statistical reduction of gun violence and murder in our city in 2022. Lord, you can do more than we can dream or imagine. Eradicate our cynicism, our belief that things cannot change. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do to make our city a safer place. Lord, we pray for the end of COVID-19 so that we as a church and a community can gather face-to-face, heart-to-heart, hand-to-hand. God, we confess our frustration with where things are in this world. And we know that there are some poor choices we can make, but there is no perfect path for us to follow. So, Lord, illuminate our way out of this. Show us where to head. May your Holy Spirit do your healing power to bring an end to this pandemic And may we do our part in following in your work. Lord, I pray that new people who thought that faith was not for them would find faith at Lindenwood Christian Church in this coming year. And that adults would be baptized into the body of Christ and discover the joy of living obediently for Jesus and to let go of what we think of as the good life and find a life that is good with you. God, forgive me when I desire more about letting sheep from other church come to our congregation and calling it evangelism. Forgive all of us, God, when we do not have a passion for those that do not know your love or have been intentionally excluded from your body. Lord, let us have open hands to not only receive people that make their way to us online or in person, but let us have active hands to offer your welcome to every single person we come in contact with. And let your power animate us, God, so that we can be instruments of your good news in this world that needs it so much. Lord, bring our murder rate down in this pandemic and let our church be a magnet for people who think that church is not for them. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, thank you all very much. I want to encourage you to join us for worship this weekend one way or another. We worship at 930 or 11. And you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on YouTube, or you can join us here at 2400 Union Avenue. We're doing everything we can to stay safe in the midst of uh, another 2,500 cases this morning. So wear a mask, uh, space out the best you can. Um, And if we're going to linger and loiter, we want to do that outside because that's so much safer than doing it inside. But we're still doing everything we can to stay connected. So wherever you need to be is the right spot as long as you are worshiping. Um, I I heard this reiterated last night and I want to tell you how much I agree with it. You can worship in the pew, you can worship in the couch. So wherever you are is the right spot if you're making God a priority. All right, take care, y'all. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.